according to Nodipu, persons living with disabilities have been sidelined for a long time since government started rolling out its COVID-19 vaccination programs. The union states that vaccination sites remain inaccessible to many persons with disabilities as government has not provided enough information to this vulnerable community. This can be achieved through working closely with organizations of persons with disability to ensure that persons with disability are not left out through the mobilization to get vaccinated. Provide information on vaccine, on vaccination against COVID-19 in accessible format so that, so as to benefit those with hearing and visual impairment. Mpindi further alludes to the challenges faced by persons with disabilities when they try to access vaccination sites, which he believes need to be resolved by government. Ensuring that vaccination centers are accessible to persons with disability. This is applicable to both the physical environment and the communication services. Providing sign language interpretation services to assist the deaf persons during the vaccination exercise. They also want their community to be considered among the essential workers. We want to be part of this package that has just come in and since we are saying that we don't have the resources to buy our own, then let's tap into what government is bringing on board. So we, we think that if government is bringing in some million doses, then part of this should go to persons with disabilities. The union also wants statistics of persons living with disabilities who have been affected by COVID-19 to be made known and separated from the general population. So I would say that we don't have figures of how many persons with disabilities have either suffered or have died as a result of COVID. <clears throat> but amongst us, we have colleagues that have, have succumbed to COVID-19. Additionally, it has been advanced by the union that persons with disabilities should also be front and center in the government's COVID-19 relief efforts. We had many, many challenges. So when it, it comes to counting the cost uh, of how they have been impacted, how persons with disabilities have been impacted, it's really great. They have been impacted health-wise, socially. <laughs> it is really a big, big, big challenge.